Hey guys, so today we're going to be taking a quick look at 2019's version of Hellboy. And... I have not been this disappointed in a movie in a long time. I don't know how they managed to screw this up. It's just... It was just so... I don't know why. I mean, I, I had some expectations for this movie. I mean... They were going in a different direction since it was going to be rated R. Does that mean the movie's good? I mean, no. I mean, uh, before I get any further into this review, I just want to lay out my positives at first before going way into the negatives. Uh, David Harbour's good as Hellboy, and uh, some of the makeup for this film is good. Some of it doesn't really work out that much. And practical effects, also pretty good. Um, some characters are okay, some of them not so much. Uh, most are mostly forgettable at best. Um, I just feel like they should have, I mean, they should have done so much more, so much better. And uh, that's. That's where it about ends for me in regards to positives. Uh, I just felt like this should have been so much better, but sadly it wasn't. And the Rotten Tomatoes score, I just... Uh, it got me worried right before seeing this film. And um, as for the plot... Well, that's going to be a little bit tricky for me to summarize. But, I mean... Basically, Hellboy has to stop an evil witch from destroying the world. And that's about it. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing to spoil. It's just, well, there are a few things to spoil because there's so uh, there's so much stuff that, uh, that I, um, I don't know why. Um, one of my, I mean, one of my biggest disappointments with this film is, I mean, Mostly, it comes down to the CGI, because some of the CGI, especially when it, when it comes to certain monsters, look like they're a, some boss in a PS3 game, or an early crappy PS3 game, and it's just, can you gotten, I mean, can you afford better CGI? I mean, give us something better, especially when it comes to the vampire and the trolls. And not to mention the big fucking demons that crawl out of hell and just, they look like the size of a building. I mean, come on, get, I mean, get better effects. Uh, and they went a little bit over gore, I mean, they went a little bit overboard with the gore and the blood and everything. They really wanted to uh, go for the uh, R rating and it shows. Especially when you see the Red Band trailer. And, and speaking of the Red Band trailer, there's one scene in particular, uh, when you once you see the Red Band trailer, you can see uh, in one scene, you might uh, you may or may not have seen this in, in the trailer, uh, but in the trailer, you would see a, a scene of Hellboy and the Blood Queen making out while there's blood raining uh, all over the, this room or whatever they were in. That's not in the film. And they were, they were trying to, like, somewhat build a relationship between uh, uh, Hellboy and the Blood Queen. And it goes nowhere. I mean, I understand why. I mean, it just, I mean, she's somehow attracted to Hellboy in some way. And she uh, wants to rule the world by, uh, by his side because uh, he's destined to destroy mankind. But at the same time, he's also sort of the... Uh, and this might, uh, this is considered a huge spoiler, so if you don't want to know, just stop watching right now. I, I don't know how, uh, this was so lazy. Hellboy is the descendant to King Arthur. And he's the worthy successor of his sword. What the fuck? <sighs> oh, what the hell were you guys thinking? 
it, even though it did look like it does look like a cool idea for some audiences, I just thought that that idea was just so lazy. Uh, so once he uh, pulls the sword out of the stone, I mean his his horns start growing. I mean, there's no. I mean, there's some references to the graphic novels. I mean, I mean obviously the Blood Queen and. Uh, some characters from the comics, I mean, I haven't read too much of the comics, I've only seen uh, the first two Guillermo del Toro movies, played a, f a few video games, and that's pretty much all it. Um, I'm considering reading the graphic novels, because after seeing this, I just really want to know, I mean, what direction they were going with, because they at least tried to be faithful to the source material, but it just... It's just so, it's just so bad. I just, I don't know why. Uh, I, I really wanted to like this movie. I did. But it's just, ugh. It's just a mess. Uh, with Hellboy being a descendant to King Arthur, it was just, come on. Uh, so overall, I just think that this movie should have been a whole lot better. Uh, and speaking of the villain, uh, the Blood Queen, for a sorceress who is uh, so powerful to basically be a god and summoning all these monsters and commanding all of them, she doesn't really do much of anything besides just summoning plagues and using telekinetic powers and everything. She barely even fights Hellboy. She just has this big pig guy as her henchman just fighting Hellboy. I mean, sure, I mean, Hellboy does have a few decent fight scenes, and they're, I mean, they're not all perfect or anything, it's just, uh, I mean, I just think the uh, the Gilmore del Toro movies are so much better, and as for David Harbour, I mean, he's good, but Ron Perlman's my Hellboy, so, yeah. So, I'm gonna give Hellboy 2019 a D. Uh, yeah, so... Don't see this movie. I mean, if you're a fan of Hellboy, I mean, at least give it a try, but you'll probably regret seeing this. Just stick with the Del Toro movies. They're so much better. I just... I just feel like this movie did have potential, but it just... And for some reason, uh, they have a... The, uh, the ending somehow teases a sequel. And, and if that ever does happen, I'll be shocked. Because... I, uh, I mean, if they do go for a sequel, at least have this one be better than this. I don't, I just, uh, I just want a good Hellboy movie. I've been waiting for a good Hellboy movie for 11 fucking years. Just give me a better movie. But hopefully they do come up with a better Hellboy movie. I just... I honestly think they should have stuck with the third uh, Hellboy movie. I mean, like they intended to do uh, after they'd done Hellboy 2, The Golden Army. But uh, Del Toro stepped out of the director's chair and Ron Perlman didn't want to be Hellboy anymore without Del Toro directing. So, I just... I just felt like this movie sh uh, should have been a whole lot better, but it's just... I mean, it the story is a mess. I mean... Uh, the, the story was crap. Some performances are okay, but some of them don't really work. Some characters are good. Sometimes they're forgettable. The villain was stupid and lame. And her motivations are not really all that clear because, I mean, sh she doesn't really have an explanation of why she wants to wipe out mankind. She just wants to rule the world because... Because... I don't know why. I don't get this character... So, yeah, um, just stick with the Del Toro movies, they're worth your time. Um, thank you so much for, as always, for watching, and I'm looking forward to doing more reviews really soon, and I want to review the first two Hellboy movies. I, I, I said I would do them b before reviewing this film, but, uh, uh, now I regret uh, not reviewing the first two movies before doing this one. Mostly because my work schedule is a little bit tight, and I'm trying my best to do as many videos as I can, so you guys are the best. And if you want news on the latest movies, you know where to find me.